Martina, thank you for doing another edition of Martina Predicts the Future. You ready to do this? I'm ready, baby. All right, let's do it. Your 2022 forecast for Serena Williams. So Serena Williams 2022. I hope she is healthy. I hope she gets to play. Uh, I think she needs to play more matches. I'm not sure she will, but she'll still be a force, particularly with Wimbledon. Will Medvedev start running the table at majors? Medvedev is just getting started. He's 25 years old and he is still improving. Uh, and now he's confident. So I think he's gonna he's he's gonna win another major next next year, maybe two. We'll see. Your 2022 forecast for Roger Federer. Roger Federer 2022. I just hope the knee is good. Didn't look so good uh, this last year, year and a half. And uh, you know, I want him to quit on his own terms with a healthy body. So I hope he gets to play and I hope that he makes a deep run at Wimbledon. Emma Raducanu, one hit wonder? Raducanu one hit wonder? Absolutely not. This was not a fluke. This was a fluke in that it's never been done before. Uh, but uh, yeah, she's gonna win again. Maybe not next year, but the year after and the year after the year after. I mean, she's, she's just getting started. Your 2022 forecast for Rafael Nadal. If Rafa Nadal is healthy in 2022 and his foot's back to normal, I still think he will win the French Open. But I don't think that he can win anything else. The guys are getting too good. I just hope he's healthy. And I think a healthy Rafa does not lose in Paris. How many majors will Barty end up with? Uh, she should get the major slam of all four majors, right? Maybe Australia will be the hardest one for her. I think she, well, she's, she's still young as well. So she could have two, she could have eight, somewhere between there, I think is a good possibility. Four or five, maybe. Definitely the Hall of Famer career. 2022 forecast Novak. for Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic 2022, what can you say? He's kind of deal with the disappointment of not getting the, the Grand Slam in 2021. Came in so close, right? But then a couple sets. Emotionally, it's gonna be hard if he gets it together, which I still think he will. Uh, I, I would give him one to two slams next year. What man will surprise us in 2022? You know, Berrettini had a great Wimbledon and he was really disappointed and ticked off that he lost that final to Novak. So I, I think he's gonna do another deep run in the majors. And maybe Casper uh, Ruud's been playing great tennis and he's the kind of guy that can that can beat anybody on any surface. So I think those two guys, that's what I'll be looking at. Your 2022 forecast for Naomi Osaka. 2022 Naomi Osaka. I, I hope she plays. I hope she plays, puts herself out there as much as possible because that's the best way, I think, to shut everything out, shut that noise that's on the outside out. So fingers crossed that, uh, that she finds the love of the sport enough to overcome everything else. What woman will surprise us in 2022? Well, I think Leila Fernandez, again, she was really ticked off when she lost the US Open Finals. She was, she was ticked off. She was, she was not happy. She was not happy that she got to the finals. And I love that attitude. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that she just might win a major next year. You know, her game transfers onto any surface pretty well. Australian Open is, is very similar to the US Open. She moves well, her shots pay off there. Maybe grass would be better than clay. So I think I would say either Aussie or Wimbledon, but then she did one of these open. So maybe the grass would be her least favorite, but uh, I think she can win on anything, really. Did we ever see mixed doubles be played at the Joint 1000? Well, we used to play mixed doubles at the, in Miami. Uh, the old Lipton, uh, now the Miami Open, we used to play mixed doubles there, and they did away with it. I think the fans would enjoy it, the crowd would get into it. Maybe a small draw, like 32, so you just play four or five matches with the no ad. Um, I hope so. It'll be fun. Second week, they don't have enough matches, right? The first week, it's all locked in. And then the last four or five days, eh, it's pretty thin. So I think the crowd would love it. All right, Martina, that's all we got for this right. edition of Martina Bricks the Future. Thank you. Thank you.